We are the largest flower farm on the Sunshine Coast. We were the pretty much the first urban farm here. We grow a lot of specialty flowers, mostly old-fashioned types and scented romantic type flowers. We don't use any sprays, we treat our soil really well, and uh, so we grow a really clean product. I'm Michelle. And I'm Paul. And this is Ruby's Run Urban Farm. And we are right in the heart of Seashell on the Sunshine Coast. It was all her idea. <laughs> uh, well, we bought this house uh, with the intention of creating this farm out back. And that was seven years ago. And uh, we started off with a little tomato house in the backyard and uh, gradually moved into what you see now. We just realized that, you know, there's just not enough food production on the Sunshine Coast to support the people here. There was a lot of talk about, you know, people needing to have uh, big farms for, you know, enormous food production to feed the masses. And my thought was that we need small farms in accessible neighborhoods. And so that's what we are demonstrating here. We can feed a hundred people and someone else down the road can do this as well. They can feed a hundred people. When you are connected to the food, or at least you understand what's involved to produce it, you appreciate it much, much more. The standard, I think, to grow something is probably the same wherever you are. What's different here is primarily the density. We have everything closely packed. So the way we actually do it is a little bit different because it's all by hand rather than mechanized. We have over 450 tomato plants on the property and lots of basil interplanted with it. We also grow potatoes, carrots, beets, onions, strawberries. Because of the location and the urbanness of our farm, we, we are limited in space and um, we try to maximize the growing potential on every bit of space that we have. Um, so we're always tweaking it. Paul is an engineer, so he's always maximizing and efficiencying things. And I'm a grower and a lover of beauty. So I'm always saying, that's great, we, we, we need to efficiency it, but it has to be beautiful. So we, between the two of us, we really tried to create that here. We lifted our strawberry uh, boxes up onto these trestles to create space underneath. So we increased the vertical space, and then we basically doubled the horizontal space. So underneath the uh, strawberry trestles, uh, we've got carrots growing in crates. And so we're getting double production out of the same amount of area. We get a lot of feedback from people saying that they like the way the farm is laid out, that it's quite linear, and so that's for productivity, but it's also always for beauty. We market our food really close to home, so we don't use any fossil fuel. You know, most of the work is done by hand. We, we even have an electric weed eater, um, and we load up and, and market uh, four blocks from home. We have uh, regular customers that come every week and buy our flowers. Uh, so we go fully loaded with flowers. And then it depends on what's in season for us. Berries are uh, popular right now. Uh, we'll take our onions and the garlic starting. So once the garlic starts, we have thousands of garlics that uh, go to the farmer's market. So two of these, one raspberry, one potato. They want to engage with the farm and they want to purchase directly from us and they feel really good about knowing us and giving us their money directly for something that is enhancing their life. 